combination of things. You know, might be cutting a ditch in here and putting a drain tile in here and connecting onto this. I didn't know why. But if we feed, if we feed from here, from here isn't that going to make the problem worse? Because I mean, yeah. I can't take the water that right. we're dealing with. I think now. he's talking well, about it going to this one, though, isn't it? it? it we, we would go to this one. Yeah, yeah. But well, the problem back here now is this is higher than your backyard. Right. 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 So we'd run a pipe back here, and then every once in a while, where there's a low spot, we'd put an inlet so that these inlets would catch. Mm. Just to drain into them. So I don't know how many low spots are with you back here. But you would catch a couple of them and then come back. Would some sort of a sump pump that we put in a pit back there help push that water? And help too instead of just regular inlets? And then we the water back there. All four trees here. We should grab it. It gravities, when we ran the kelps on it, what it does is uh, there's like two feet of water. We did a Two inch or a two uh, inch rain event. Like and then this pipe only took a foot off of it. There's still like eight tenths of a foot in the middle, which maybe closer to do the live a holy with, you know. But which, once you did that and you get over all of a sudden the manholes on the road over here, the water was at the um, casting. So if you pump too much water, then it's going to cause some water to go up over there. What we tried to do 20 years ago was pump it from here to here. That was stations there, the pumps there. Yeah. It's not many, many Up a secondary pump? Uh -huh. Up a second pump, you mean? No, there's one pump, there's one good pump in there. And that pumps four blocks into here. Why not just pump it right out here and get it in the ditch? Oh, so it doesn't have to travel four blocks? Yeah. Okay. I just remember many, many years ago, we had 15 inch rain. And it rained, and it rained, and it rained. And it was pretty hot out of the party. And I thought, oh my god, and that's when there were houses in the back there. And I was like, oh my god. And if we had that rain event now, we'd be. Oh, we'd be. Oh, all on your house got flooded. Yeah. That must have been the year we had the pumpers sitting in the middle of the street here. Right. I can't remember if it blowing it that way. But it just rained. You guys you guys weren't living out here at that time. Les and Jane just moved here. But we proposed that and we had all the residents sign Yeah, but something that said they didn't want that done, they they'll live with it. We them. were gonna all our our kids yeah. in the paper. But so, that's what happened. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we were just going to be the ones paying for it. We're going to be water. No, we're going to be the water. How far do we go? It goes up a couple all blocks right. this way. All this goes down and out. Yeah. What Jim said is pumping. <coughs> That's what he's going to Yeah. Also, too, isn't the worst spot? Water's here, but when you look in the backyard, I'm the one sucking every 
everybody's water, so I mean. Well, not everyone's. Or not yours, you right? Know, I haven't you know, seen. You like, start getting down into here. But as far as yeah, that, as far as everything around here, yeah, yeah it's yeah. sucked to my yeah. 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 So if you were to tee one right there, consider heading a little bit to the east as well. If but if you want, I'll bring in. I will bring in unlimited amount of dirt in the back here. I will make, I will make a dike back here. You say I didn't build it up enough. I'll bring the trucks in. I don't care about the back here. I will spend and then the bottom line, line, I will you build bring, it, you build up, and anyone else builds up. Build now it's going to gonna be right on the neighbors, so I will as long I'll as call it the trucks block in. The people to the east, so it can still come past your place. Right. So, but the bottom line, even if, if there's no drain issue heading this in. way, I'm gonna yeah. call the trucks in and start bringing in the crap from under. So basically, we need a drainage plan. We need a T mark. Yes, so we need a T. Yeah. If you just go that way, none of this over here is gonna go that way. Now I got a question too, Steve. If we take a foot of water off oh, like the back, uh, how, how will that impact if we here. pump from here? Right. Well, I'm missing taking here. a foot oh. off in the back and putting it into this other lift and taking it out to the east. You know, that's quite a little bit of water that would go that way. Now this pump here that Jim's talking about. You know, would we be able to take it successfully get this curve pretty dry, right? Yeah, pretty good. You could alleviate the rest of the pipe. Oh, the rest of it. You think you would just put a pipe in that way? Or just run that existing pump out to the ditch and I would run it. Does it ever get full? Because um, that rain we had, what was it, 19 when that fall, that rain when we got huge, I forget how many, six inches, you know, would that, would that fill up, you know, in, in a bed like that? Basically, when you're going four blocks, that thing's got to be full. That system there is full and it's pumping it. Yeah. Okay. You, you get less water here than we do there because we get all, we take all the water that's coming from the south. You might. You know, Across Mike, when this uh, when this this station, station is pumped, you said you you used to live up here by the yeah. where it pumps in there. Does that flood up there? Too, then? there, the pumps there, the power's there. Is, is, that, is that ditch over there big enough to handle it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, well, it rains in eight inches, no. <laughs> and then work on this as a different, yeah. get more water in there, there's plenty of room in that, in that water. That's what it was designed. There's more than just one of those rain no. 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 When they designed it, the water yeah, was right. supposed to come here to here, here to here, here to here. And everybody was supposed to work with elevations in the backyard and slope the yards so they can drain nice to that drain. It's deep enough. How come this wall just naturally drain? Huh? How come, you know, right down on the end there? Because they, they built this up so when the water floods, the big floods come, in the ditch, it doesn't go back into the backyards. And this one, this one was cut, so if the water ever backs in here, it's going to go into these backyards over there. That's why that was kept up high there. The highest we ever had in that ditch is up to where trees, those raw trees, then up to there. That's and yeah, you could do that. You could go over there and cut that. You could cut, you know, they 
finish their yards now, but you could cut that to go that way. But if that ever came back in, that's where it would go into those ditches because you've created an inlet for that water. How about if you drain piled it that way and put a flap on it? It's just you could, but you've got your inlet here. You right. Could, you, yeah. you know, and to me, it's it's fairly deep. It was cut that deep for this reason. And see if we can get some inlets back there and then bore into that or bore into that. Also, too, a like couple of those houses are slab on grades. Right on the ground. It's not like it was up or up and they had a decision to taper. I mean, and if you've got, Mine's if you've got this problem solved, you could actually put something like right here, too. But you have to get that solved to be able to do that. I think you're leaning towards getting it. Try to get it to that catch base. All the trees and telephone lines and power lines back there, good luck. Yeah, yeah. But to me, that's the most, that's what. So I'm still well, I'll have still somebody look at this lift station because maybe it's yeah. just a matter of putting a, a second line in and then it'll leave them both up there. Where path it least to go. Yeah. If it's, if it's overtaxing one side or the other, it'll go the other way. Um, at the airport, we have a drain pile pump where the one pump goes down the pipe. If it gets too high, the second pump goes over. So, is there anyone that removes the two pumps in this I don't know. Um, think so. It's just, uh, it's just a simplex pump. And it's not, the barrel is as big as it might. I mean, if you get too complicated, you just have to drop another barrel next to it. Like that, then that's what Jim would say. Maybe a weir wall into a second manhole with the pump in, and you know, or something. We need a an easement across. That's what it's back in the yards there. We probably need an easement across between this property line here. If we're going to run a pipe back here to dump out. We have electric easements back here already. Utility for the wire. I don't know. Put a big electric line in. <laughs> and how about easements behind for a tile back there? There's, there's a 10 foot on this side and this side, I can't remember if it's a 20 or 30 foot. I can't imagine you're not going to get anybody's blessing. Well, yeah, yeah. stand you know, but we would have to coordinate. And if, since it's all built up, you know, it, it'd be pretty hard to grade, go back and grade everything. But maybe we can come up with a fix where there's like one in here and one in it over here. And then do some smaller grading. Then you're only going one lot in direction. Or two, you're going to do it. Yeah. What size tile do you think we need? Get, get, what get size all the way back to this pipe? corner, Steve. Get, get yep. back here. Okay. This Doolin's have a very dark. He put it in the home fence there. I don't know which side. Yeah, we'd probably put in a plastic pipe and maybe get away with some uh, some plastic smaller inlets. You know, yep. so you're not having a big metal grate out there, but we'd have to run the run the model on it to see. But so when you were talking about this dropping of a foot down.
want to ask her. It's not going to alleviate the big ones. No, that's what will happen. We'll do this. But this year's it was low, right? I just worry that. So it's like they're putting their water into the hills, so a little more water around. 